YouTube, um, I wanted to share with you a, a, a case that we'd recently taken with our new CBCT, our KVO OP3D Pro. Um, really pretty amazed at the resolution of this thing and how well it works and how much we could see that we couldn't see before. So um, let's jump in here. And this is our coronal section, of course. Basically, if you were to, you know, draw a line uh, kind of uh, parallel to the wall and have a patient standing there, it comes straight down through the center of their body, again, parallel to the wall. Um, this gives us an interesting view that most of us dentists have not had uh, much experience in viewing. Um, does give us a really clear window into the sinuses as well. And let's see. I know there were a couple of sinus issues that were diagnostic here on the x-rays that helped us to, like for instance up here on the patient's right side, you can see all of this significant uh, thickening up here in the patient's sinus uh, adjacent to this maxillary palatal root. So pretty significant. I'm going to go ahead and zero in on that. I'm going to activate my focus tool and it's going to take me to this 3D uh, inspection mode which will give me another view of that area. And so I'm going to rotate the axis here a little bit to give me a little more favorable view. Let's close out of this over here. I'm going to zoom in over here, recenter, zoom in, recenter, and scroll up and down here with my little track wheel. And you can see all of this swelling. Now I'm going to rotate this angle a little bit more on the horizontal plane so I can see a little better angle of that palatal root. I'm going to go back to my perpendicular angle and look again at all that swelling. Now, all the darkness that you see here, this is not carious lesion. This is something that most of us have to learn early on when we're using 3D imaging. These are not cavities, uh, necessarily. This is a beam hardening. This is basically the 3D x-ray uh, being blocked um, by the hardened structures, whether it's a filling or a crown or even some enamel can do it as well. So we don't want to use the 3D x-ray to diagnose um, carious lesions. We'll leave that to the bite wings um, in an intraoral inspection. But take a look at this. This is really significant. You know, not necessarily something we could have seen um, on an x-ray. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back over here to the 3D patient. Double click to get back to the set where it shows us all of the imaging here. And then I'm going to pull down to the right side and we're going to look at these maxillary, or I'm sorry, mandibular molars because there's a whole lot of schmutz developing around this area here. So I'm going to activate my focus tool again. We're going to zoom in on this distal buccal area of tooth number 30. I'm going to rotate in the horizontal angle so that I can see through it, kind of similar to what you'd see on a periapical x-ray. And you can see as we're focusing up here, as I'm rotating, you can see how that angle is changing. So I'm going to pick an angle that's favorable. And the nice thing about it is I can go back in and I can alter that angle. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to drag down a little bit. And then we're going to just click through each of these little sections and see what we have going on here. Well, already we can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and reposition. We can see some periapical abscess. Let me turn off these lines. We can see some periapical involvement around that mesial buccal root coming forward there. Let's go back deeper into the slice. So very good likelihood we've got some bone reaction here, some loss of density there. So as we go, continue to go to the left, the patient's left, you can see all of this reactive bone tissue here. And then we're starting to see some of this darkness here. Uh, moving forward, you can see the distal root seems infected and the mesial root there. So quite a significant diagnostic ability here, all of that there. Um, let's see, there was one other area of this, sorry, one other area of this uh, x-ray that I wanted to point out. I think it was on the upper left. We had a root that was missed in the root canal or something like that. Let's see if I can zoom in here on this tooth. So activate our focus tool, zoom in on number 14. I'm going to again rotate my angle so I can see a little more familiarly, if that's a word. Let's turn off our findings window pane over there and zoom in. Reposition. And then I'm going to pop through here. There it is. Now you can see this root. This is the distal buccal. It looks like 
Um, you know, the palatal root, the mesial buccal root, I don't know if they missed a distal buccal or if that's some sort of a fracture. We'll have to do a little further investigation, but you see this area. There's the distal buccal fill. There's the palatal fill, mesial buccal maybe. Here's our mesial buccal fill. But yeah, we've got a distal buccal canal space that's unobturated. Let's see if we can rotate this angle. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit more, see if I can see down the long axis of that. So again, I'm looking at this window pane as I'm rotating. See if we can get a little better view. Yeah, and you can see there's canal space in here that is unobturated. And a big periapical lesion here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Big periapical and apical and interradicular lesion there. So for me, I'm honestly just totally blown away at how much more visibility I have now to be able to look through a patient's uh, mouth uh, in three dimensions. Let's look at that area here. There's our palate. Mesial buckles right here. Here's the space we're talking about right there. And there's a distal buckle. So you can definitely see some space in there that's unobturated. I could probably roll through it here. Oop, going the wrong direction. And there's that palatal. Here's the distal buckle. And there's some space in here. It looks like there's some sort of a canal that connects the palatal to the distal buccal root space that's left open, it's hollow. Now it's also possible that's a fracture that we're seeing based on the angle. So it'd be worthwhile taking a high resolution 3D image of that area alone to see if that's actually a fracture. Anyway, so that's just a real basic kind of a, a quick evaluation of what we can see that I couldn't see on any panoramic or any periapical x-rays. I mean, just being able to pull this up in front of a patient in the operatory and say, do you see all this darkening? Do you see all that widening around the root tip? Look at this. That's infection. That's uh, an unfilled canal space. We need to send you to our specialist to have them take a look at your, whoop, wrong button, have them take a look at your root canal and see if it's something that can be salvaged. I mean, these things are really, really amazing to me that I can now see what I couldn't see before to a significant degree. So looking forward to going through more of these 3D CBCT x-rays. I haven't yet taken a full resolution. This is standard resolution. I haven't yet taken a full resolution CBCT. Um, when we have a justifiable need, you know, a patient with an endo lesion that we can't diagnose or some other issue that we can't figure out, then I'll crank up that uh, diagnostic level with a high resolution image and we'll, we'll maybe do a little video about it. But pretty cool stuff. I mean, honestly, like I mentioned, I'm really blown away. Um, I told uh, Joe Feldstein, one of our uh, corporate support um, high-level managers, that uh, I'm amazed. I'm really amazed at how long I practice dentistry without having this three-dimensional image set um, to be able to go to, you know, to be able to see in three dimensions and to be able to show the patient what's going on here. Um, it's just, it's mind-blowing. You know, if the patient still had wisdom teeth, I'd be able to pull this up and say, well, look at the angle of that wisdom tooth. Look at where it is in relation to your nerve. Oh, let's actually look at the inside of your jaw. Let's zoom in here and look at exactly what's happening here. Oh, look at your roots, you know. So we can treatment plan from the inside of a patient's jaw. Is that mind blowing or what? Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. You know, lots more to come. Um, I'm gonna try to put together kind of a real basic introductory uh, video series about how I walk through these videos after some training from um, the experts, quote unquote. Um, but looking forward to learning and growing and developing my skills in the 3D CBCT uh, realm. So thanks for watching.